Welcome to today's vlog, guys. Hope you're feeling good. Hi, beautiful. Hi. Does, does, do you think anybody knows where we're at right now? I'm gonna show you a little bit of that. Bunch of cars back here. There's palm trees. I don't think they would expect it, that's for sure. They don't expect us to be here. No. We are at the Freedom Factory. We're in Tampa, Florida, and we are, just bring it out, dude. I bought the dumbest <laughs> thing you guys have ever seen in your life. This is so, okay, okay, you hear it? Dude. Welcome to the shop. Sick car, bro. Oh, brother, this is your ride. <laughs> this is your ride. I, um, if you guys know, I went to Cletus's uh, last racing event, Race the Crown Vicks, but uh, before I filmed, they had a burnout contest. Everybody there was like, you got to get your own burnout car for the next event. When's the next event? Bristol, September 3rd and 4th, Bristol Motor Speedway. It's the big deal. It's the big a, deal. Yeah, freaking Bristol, dude. Yeah. You Bristol, bought a car baby. just to go. And I bought a car. <laughs> this is the car Brittany's been making fun of me about. I think she's hot. Chopped. It's like a corn cob. Roof's been chopped off. Doors have been chopped off. <laughs> hey, but it does do a burnout. I was, I'm impressed. It does a burnout, and it's going to do a lot more than that. Look at this bad boy. Check out the goods, dude. I don't know how long we're going to be running this, but... I think she needs to couple upgrades. Right, do you think we can even get it more powerful? I think we can absolutely turn it up a little bit. So we we're in Florida. I bought this car on Craigslist for my burnout car. And I thought there was nobody better that could make this car hot, big motor for the burnout contest. And this man right here got something in my eye. So I haven't even had it at my house. I bought it and shipped it here to the Freedom Factory. Give it a little bit of throttle and it basically pulls the wheelie. <laughs> it's got hydros, baby. There's smoke coming out of it. Already. You want to try to do a burnout, Britt? No. All you do is hold the brake and no. press the pedal. No. You would look sweet doing a burnout in that. <laughs> With a car like this, baby, <laughs> she does the burnout. The shifter's in between your legs. <laughs> It's definitely still smoking. Yeah, I think it needs like 500 more horsepower. Five. I think so. I think she's making the dude. This solid thing 180. Is Chris I'm, 180 right now. I'm gonna say this. That's fun. That's it. <laughs> the, the wheelbase is so short, guys. It's like it's like being in a little go kart. Yeah, that looks really good, actually. <laughs> I'm actually pretty impressed that it can even do that. And you were like whipping it. I mean, most people just sit still. You oh actually... heck no, dude. We gotta we gotta put on a show out there. So not only did you lead the Indy 800 for just a little bit, now you're a burnout pro. Heck yeah. I'm, li I'm liking this. I didn't know you had this this driver skill. Learn dude. from the best, bro. Learn from the best. <laughs> so we're down here at the Freedom Factory. These guys are gonna put something ridiculous in this car. I'm sure you have ideas. You probably know what's yeah. best. But for those of you watching that understand cars, because you know I do not, I know how to buy them, that's it. What what do you legit suggest that would make this car rip? You're gonna be yeah. reading comments. Yeah, you want me to show you what I'm thinking? Yeah, yeah, let's okay. do it. But I want your guys' actual real thoughts. And that's big block Chevy. Big I mean, block big, Chevy. Big block Chevy is is easy to get parts for. It's really strong parts. So we've got one in this car. Dude, look at these boats, by the way. First of all, if you're into motors, cars, or just cool toys, this is like dreamland. This is like you're in a dream and you're about to wake up. That's what's here. Come check this thing out. Fire it up for you. Oh, man. you can get that in there? Yeah, this is a 10.3 liter. With the, the pipes? We could do this exact combo. <laughs> this you is guys, a 10.3 liter big block. And it, it's this one's pretty quiet, actually. Yeah, 
we thought this might be a good combo because <laughs> it's I love it. Proven. Sign me up. Yeah, it's already proven. It's relatively affordable. You know, like big block Chevy stuff's cheap. And you can find to... all the parts. Yeah, and the like, parts are unlimited. This is common. This is an, an RV at the junkyard, you know, a, a big block. So we figured if we set you up with this, it's really easy to fix. Like probably any local shop could fix it. We, we already know it'll do a burnout and survive multiple burnouts. Like it's nothing. So God, I feel like this is going to rip that whole back end off. <laughs> it may flip. <laughs> it, flip. <laughs> it almost flipped with a hundred horsepower. So yeah, when you hit that turn, that that car was almost on three wheels. I know, I know. Very sketch as is. We, you know what? Maybe we can put some shocks on it if you're feeling it, or we can leave it how it is. A couple of ratchet straps, just pull it real. Tight I'm gonna out. go with whatever you decide. <laughs> These are the experts here. This is like going to the dentist and the dentist asks him what I want. I need to let the dentist do his job. We're, we're gonna try. We're gonna put an eight eight rear end in it. We'll do a turbo 400 and then whatever engine combo. Everyone, you know, we got to read the comments. We got to see what the people think, but. Yeah. So guys, for real, know the deal. comments. He's actually going to be looking through and getting ideas, but it's probably going to be this, yeah? I mean, shoot, it'd be hard to go with any other combo, okay. but I'm open, you know? Yeah. Heavy would be Mopar. tough, though. They're going to probably. Uh, Hemi. Mopar well, people. They were, they're going to want Mopar. So. Mopar people are. Oh, that's the kicker because it's a duster. So you want to keep the parts, putting a I Chevy mean, big block. Here's the thing, we could try some sort of Mopar deal, right. and if it fails, then we could go to this. It wouldn't be that hard to switch, so. Okay. That'd be sick with a Hemi in it, dude. I know, Just I the know. name Hemi, right? I it's know. like, yeah, she's got Hemi in it. So we'll let <laughs> I just people, want to be able to say that. We'll let the people, you know, see what they're feeling. All right, and we can make All right do we keep the parts legit? Dodge parts, Mopar. Or do you just mix and match, baby? Junkyard dog it. Do you want to drive this bad unit real quick? I honestly am so obsessed with that sound. I think you should. That drive. sound makes me happy. You made my ears ring. <laughs> well, why don't we get you a helmet and a, and a fire suit and you give this bad girl a rip? Just rip this up? Yeah, you just do something, you know, something a little spicy. If you're up for it. All right, guys, second question. You knew I grew up in a cornfield, basically. Every year we have the Sweet Corn Festival in my hometown. So this car, oddly enough, looks like a friggin' corn cob. Look at this thing, dude. It's the corn cob, there's no denying it. So my question is, do I leave it the corn cob like that? Or do we do something to the paint? Cause I think it's hideous. Not only that, it's just old guys. This is actually the paint. It has like black uh, splatter in it. Forget what it's called, but it just has like old wear and tear. Like look at the rust. It's beat up. Do I throw a wrap on it? Or maybe for this first year, we just rock it as the corn cob, dude. Because it is fitting, guys. This is like my hometown festival. If this was in the parade, it would literally be perfect. So, leave it the corn cob, the crack corn. I don't know what to call it, but if you guys want to see me rip it, I'll be in Bristol at that event doing the burnout contest. <laughs> Does anybody know what I'm sitting in right now without getting out and showing you? This, wow, dude. Honda Thank Accord. Thank you for that. That's yeah. epic. Look at this. <laughs> Honda Accord. It's a 2022, Best though. <laughs> There's barely anything cooler, honestly, I than don't that. I what much is cooler <laughs> than a duster. All right, guys, you got to pick one. The duster or this bad boy. The ripsaw. Is that the actual name? A freaking ripsaw, dude. Told you, this is like the ultimate playground here, guys. Look at this thing. Guys, how do I not have that back in the day ripping around the property? Look at this thing. Apparently, there's only like four in the country. Don't break my car now. We're gonna see how much power this Honestly, <laughs> we should just drive this thing right over it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mr. Yeah. Cletus McFarland, what are you we doing just... in my car, man? We were so impressed by what it was capable of in the parking lot. We were like, how many horse torques is this thing making? You so, know you're gonna, I mean? so we're going to measure the horsepower real quick with our dyno com. I'm guesstimating 181. What do you think, Jack? 181. Down? That's very specific. Yeah. That's just what I felt in my butt dyno. <laughs> James, what do you got? 211. 211. Let's go, little duster. That's pretty good. If it makes over 200, I'll be impressed. However, we have nitrous. So we're going to try and kick her over 300. Oh my God! That's the goal. Is there a risk of blowing this thing up? Slight risk, I'd say, 68% chance it blows up. 
but James is one of the best hand spraying nitrous guys this side of the Mississippi. All right. So I'm not too worried. What's leaking out of it? Oh, don't worry about that. Yeah, that's nothing. It's sweating, that's called sweating horsepower. <laughs> All right, test one, no nitrous. It's gonna give us a horsepower count over here. Yeah, that's our baseline. Oh yeah, she's too quiet. Yeah. We need more horses. So with nitrous, how much more do you think? Ah, uh, well, she only made 144. <laughs> a little less than I expected. I'm gonna guesstimate she's gonna make about 215. 215. Yeah. You know, I'm impressed with this burnout that it did, though, with the horses it has. I flip out the torque. Instantly made it, and then it just gradually just lost that. all yeah, of its this power. This is the opposite of how a dyno graph should look. It should be. <laughs> Sample shot. <laughs> He's already pre-warned me that this motor could blow up right now. But this motor's coming out anyway. So why not blow it? So yeah, you're trying to blow it, but there's a chance. I'm just gonna go with a safe number here. I vow that when you come back, it'll be triple that. Okay? Triple, 600 we'll, horse. But it, maybe quadruple. I'm gonna go with triple for sure, <laughs> maybe quadruple. So at, at, in Bristol, in 600 Bristol, horsepower at least. In Bristol, 600 at least. Woo! I'm pumped. That thing's gonna scream. You know what they say, no car like a mo car. That's right. Is this what we're driving? Yeah. Nice, dude. This is neighbor. 1100 horse. Stop. Look at this, guys. Cletus bought a racetrack. Like a racetrack. Yeah. Makes sense. We're going to go there right now, rip some cars around, have some fun for you guys, and uh, just seeing everything for the first time myself. So, this is awesome. Welcome to the Freedom Factory, uh, sir. This, this is sick. I mean, how many of you watch right now? This is your goal. You own a racetrack, building these wild cars, man. I love cars. I just don't know how to work on them. I just don't. It's something I never put any time into. I don't understand them. It's like the human brain to me. Boy, do they sound cool, and they are fun to rip. That's how you know it's getting serious. Are you hot? All right, guys. We're I'm down in a tank top, and I'm sweating. Just so you know, we're in Florida. It's a different heat down here. It's very uh, muggy, yes. like wet, humid. humidity. So I couldn't be more excited to put a full onesie on with <laughs> gloves and now a helmet. Um, I get to rip the old Twisted T. This guy's not Crown sponsored bike. by any of these guys. He just puts their bike. labels on there in his cars. I love it. Um, I've never driven 
a car with this much horsepower. I just haven't. She made uh, closest like, I to think was made the 800 on the dyno. Guys, this is an old police car. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This is, this is an old police car. This Guys, is there's the nothing. Trashiest car we own. What, what, what could be better to do than this to a police car? Yeah, just know that you, there's nothing you can do that we haven't already tried at this car. So how do I don't roll the windows up? The brakes. Yeah. All right, so that'll go on your lap. I feel it revving, like ah, like. Keep it within reason. Don't let it just rah, tack, tack, it, tack, tack. It doesn't have a rev limiter, so it'll actually keep going until oh. it floats the valves, which is okay. Do I just keep it in like second? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna start in second, stay in second, cool. but um, like it's gonna be one of those I deals where just go off your ears. Just does this seat scoot up or not? Yeah, yeah, it does. the end but yeah no you made it the whole way though well that's so fun <laughs> guys are natural it's like effort wait you it's might like want to put it in park she won't go far <laughs> no, thank you such dude a natural driver stop it i am that, so impressed the car does it it's just god that was like perfect you you won't gotta see this so <laughs> it was amazing really yeah oh that's that was fun man like that when they come out the first time get me out of yeah. this sweatsuit <laughs> Could save my life, but. Look. <laughs> you literally did it perfect. That thing just rips. How we doing? We mohawked it. But I thought. Oh you man. Bro, oh, I should have just blown it. Yeah. I, mean, I stopped too early. It's alright. I guess Bristol, you're gonna have to <laughs> redeem yourself. Oh. So good. That was like. Look at that. I feel like Actually, I hear I air. I think leaking. I hear it. I yeah. think I hear it. We better get this thing it's back gonna... to the shop while we can. All right, guys. That was super freaking fun. I'm going to uh, wrap this up. We, we're lucky enough to come down to Florida, hang out with Garrett and his wife, which is, I can say it now, right? Yeah. You're having a baby, dude. I know. Let's go, man. I know. Fire me up. Love it, dude. So, uh, just all awesome things down here. Um, headed back to Ohio now. Actually heading to the airport. And a little update for you today. That's what's going on. We're building this car. We'll see you guys in Bristol. Come hang out. See the car. It's going to be a good event, man. And uh, thanks for having me, dude. Yes, this sir. This has been yeah, such an honor. See and, you uh, in Bristol with a yeah. car. Yeah, dude. Beautiful. One of a kind. Smile more. <laughs>